Hello YouTubers, this is Russ Goslin again. Uh, got a new model. Uh, a couple days ago, my local hobby shop was having a 50% off sale uh, for various kits that they need to uh, have move on down the line. So I was able to find this uh, AFV club. It's the uh, German SD KFZ 251-3 off D. It's a a late German half-track command vehicle and um, it was really a great deal. I haven't built this uh, company's models at all. This is my first time. So um, to be honest, I, I was very excited. I uh, went home and got that puppy opened up and just sort of uh, marveled at all the amazing details uh, that this company has put into this kit. Um, I built quite a few German half tracks uh, from Tamiya, the uh, 251 slash C, and um, you know that kit, um, yeah, it's uh, it's an oldie. I still believe it's a goodie. Uh, Edward has a nice photo etch for it, and actually I've got one in the makings somewhere in my uh, stash of models. But I just wanted to see. Um, this is just a real beautiful kit so far. I haven't finished it. I haven't even gone halfway done, but I can already say with a lot of confidence that I, I like this kit a lot. And, and just look at all the details that this has got the anti-skid track, skid plate. Um, it's really nice. And all the, the transmission detail. And if we look on the reverse or underside, uh, all the little <clears throat> suspension system for the chassis is all... Uh, really nice and tight, pretty clean. Um, one area that I, I was disappointed, though, I, I must admit, um, I was a little shocked, was the um, the front wheels. Uh, for a kit that has so much detail, I was really disappointed that the wheels come as two units. Uh, you glue them together, and they got an awful, awful seam. Um, so yes, I was a little disappointed. I would have liked to have seen maybe a solid piece, um, but you know that's okay. We um, adapt as model builders. That's that's comes with the package. And then, secondly, though, um, unlike the uh, Tamiya kits, uh, you know the front wheels don't articulate at all. They're just static in position. Um, Again, I was a little disappointed. I figured maybe a little bit more detail, uh, but that's okay. That's okay because you know if I, I was really hard, if I was hard pressed, I suppose I could do some scratch building and articulate the wheels myself. But I don't need to do that. Maybe another model, another day. I just want to get into building this kit because it's really cool. Um, and one other noticeable thing is they gave me two pieces to the uh, top half of the hull. I guess one is uh, an early version and, and one's a later version. I don't know which one I want to do. Um, however, maybe this will help help decide is that, I don't know if you can see it, but um, there's some warpage that came either from the packaging or maybe it was just stored in a place where there's uh, not so much uh, the humidity or something, but I don't know if you can look at it straight, the, the front here definitely has uh it warps it kind of goes down a little bit so i'm not too happy about that but it's not the first time it's happened before with uh, models i've built it, it just it just happens and you just roll with it i think um a little bit of tape a little bit of extra glue and a lot of uh, letting it dry without any kind of uh, tinkering with it and it should be okay if i decide to go with this piece um, another one that comes with um, some vinyl rubberized tracks, and these are pretty nice. Um, really detailed, very flexible, not very stiff and uh, lanky at all. So I'm kind of excited about this. And comes with some photo etch fret uh, for the uh, command uh, aerial. It's got the uh, star aerial that was uh, very common in late war German uh, armored vehicles and there's a few other brackets that I think come might come with the radio 
um, the decals, a few of my friends in my uh, local uh, chapter for uh, IPMS. I guess they, um, there has been some discussion about the decals, whether or not their, uh, their quality uh, matches their <laughs> kit design. Um, some guys had some problems with it, so I'll see what happens. Um, I got plenty of decals in the spares box. Um, and the radio, this is again a command half track, so it's going to have quite a, a radio, extensive radio system inside, and uh, AFV Club has certainly provided you with a whole array of radios and transceivers and receivers and all sorts of stuff. This is just uh, quite a little treat. It's got the uh, traditional uh, tube radio, the uh, big box uh, aerial that you would have seen in earlier armored vehicles. I believe you can install this one too. I think I'll probably just go for the five star radio aerial. And another feature I like about this kit is the um, compartments, stowage compartments. Uh, you have the option of having them open or closed which is kinda nice, kinda saves one from scratch building. So I, I think I might take advantage of this kit and um, show some compartments opened and, and throw in a few items of a uh, kit that the soldiers, the crew would have used. Um, everything is really, uh, as far as the molding, is really excellent. Um, flash, there, there is some flash but it's not a lot. Um, ejection pin marks are present, but they've, they've been very strategic about placing them in, in places where it's not going to be see they're on the reverse side of a lot of the parts or they're on the internal sides and um, that just takes a lot of uh, pressure off of the building process. You have to sit there shaving and sanding and trimming and cutting, none of that. So, I'm very happy, very excited. Uh, I can show you the wheels that I mentioned earlier that were less than satisfactory. Um, but here's the wheel. And um, I'd already started initially just gluing it, threw in some um, plastic cement just to kind of fill in the gap. There was uh, quite a decent gap all the way around. Um, Again, I'm sure there's already plenty of aftermarket wheels that one can purchase in one way or another. Um, I'm just going to build this straight from the box. And uh, nothing like a little putty, a little sanding, a little, a little rolling up the sleeves. And this shouldn't be a big deal. I'm not too worried about it. Um, this probably, um, I don't know when the next update for this half track is going to be. I do have some other kits that I need to get finished. Um, but I did want to share my excitement about AFV Club's uh, half track. Um, I did do a little searching, and they certainly have produced quite a lot of the German half track series. Um, there's a lot of the C's and D's, lots of variants that they've produced, so I'm kind of excited about it. Um, gee, maybe if that hobby shop has another big sale, I might have to go pick up another one sometime down the road. Um, so I'm very happy, and I'm sure I'll find time to slowly uh, build this sucker up. Um, so until next time, I wish you all uh, the best in your modeling um, endeavors, and I wish you a good day, and see you again next time. Thank you. Goodbye.